How many are we? It's one, two, three. Oh, hello. And then we got Sarah. Oh, hi. We have big, big Laura. Top. How many of us are there? I'm going to order. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah. Sorry, I'm late. All my life, I knew I had a mission piece. Hi, I'm Mary Schley. I'm the costume designer for Transparent, and we are on a wardrobe trailer. Why do you want to do this every week? Oh, what? No, disgusting. family is gross, but it's important. A typical day in the life of a costume designer it varies day to day, but I probably usually start on set in the trailer that you see, go over the costumes that are working that day with my costumers and the actors, um, make sure that they're put on properly, tucked in, jewelry out, however I want to make them look for that scene. And then um, I might go shopping for new clothes, for what's coming up in the week ahead. I might look for fabrics because I'm making something, for instance, for in this episode we've made a few clothes for uh, Mora and some clothes for flashback scenes to the 1980s um, and I would go work with my tailor. Um, if we have a scene that requires a lot of background I'll go work with um, my supervisor Leslie Herman who's in charge of creating the overall look for all the people in the background of the scenes. So this year on Transparent, for instance, a large part of the show takes place in Israel. And um, we have to make a lot of Los Angeles look like Israel. Every show has a different feeling to it and a different aesthetic. On Transparent, uh, we deal with issues of gender. And so we're always playing with um, what it means to be masculine or what it means to be feminine. Well, obviously, the first thing you do is read the script. Then you will go to a creative meeting with the director and the rest of the crew and discuss what's necessary for the emotion and the sort of physical requirements of that costume throughout the scene. For instance, if someone throws a glass of wine on a costume, we need to make sure that there's three of them so we can do that take over and over again. Um, so there's a practical element to it figuring out what the costume actually has to do on the camera. And then also just in terms of creating a character, um, I usually have a conversation with the director about how she wants that character to be, what kind of socioeconomic background, what kind of feeling that that character has. And then I'll shop it or make it, fit it with the actor, find something that works with them and how they're gonna play that character. And then it's tailored to fit them however it needs to be and then it goes on to camera. The differences between a television production and a film production is, uh, I would say specifically, the time that you have to prep. So for a film you get a nice chunk of time before the film to prepare all the costumes in advance. With the television show, especially Transparent, they're constantly rewriting the scripts and we only have one week max to prepare what's going to happen the next week. So it's very fast and really quick. And um, I think it's so amazing, the costume design for television out there now, because it looks more and more like the quality of film, but people are working at a really quick pace. So it's, it's really impressive what's happening. When they called me to tell me I was nominated for an Emmy, I was not on the set. I was in my office. And um, I think we had a big shooting day. And I was getting all these texts with claps, you know, on my phone and I, I was confused. I have no idea what they were talking about. And then finally one of my customers said, because they had announced it on set, you know, you were nominated for an Emmy, which was great because it was a really hard day. So it kind of re-energized me <laughs> to keep going. The most amazing moment really for me was working on the pilot of Transparent because um, it was in 2013 and um, no one really knew who or what Amazon was as a studio. And I had worked with Jill Soloway, the creator before, on a film, an independent film. And I um, loved working with her. I love her aesthetic. I love her style of storytelling. And being asked to do that pilot, which is based loosely on her own life, was very moving to me and exciting. So to be able to tell a story like that 
with her um, was one of the most amazing moments. It was what you dream of as a costume designer. I hope continue to get to work with amazing filmmakers that um, are telling innovative stories, good ones. I don't really care if it's jeans and t-shirts, I just want to work on interesting projects.